from an intriguing furniture designer, let me tell you now about an award-winning architect and entrepreneur, Ola Jumuke Adenowa. She's regarded as a trailblazer in Nigeria's property scene. When not designing landmark buildings, she's doing luxury homes using a holistic approach that really taps into African design. And so In Business Africa caught up with her to find out more about her philosophy. Consulting started 25 years ago in April 1993. So, this is an auspicious year for us. We're 25 years old. And I started AD Consulting because I needed to express myself. For me, architecture is, is deep, it's about life. Architecture is about national identity. Architecture is about legacy, it's about immortality, it's about man's quest to live forever. Architecture is not about just function. It's about the zeitgeist, the spirit of the age. So there's a lot more to architecture than housing, buildings. It is about who we are as a people and how we define ourselves at this time. The fact that I, my passion right now in life, my legacy is to define an African architecture, contemporary one of global relevance that the whole globe can see Africa and see our own contribution to the whole conversation that is architecture. Traditionally, Africans had architecture. Once we had tribes, we had settlements, we had chiefs, we had priests. By our own architecture, Asian Benin Empire has its architecture. There's traditional Yoruba architecture. What I think we all need to learn from is what are the principles, sustainability, the way it fits into this context, the way it works with the climate, the way it uses light, the way it uses available technology. We import our solutions. You bring an architect from wherever who doesn't live here, does not understand your aspirations, does not understand the way you're seen by your community. We need to become confident in our skin and look inwards for our own solutions. We've won quite a few awards, actually. Yeah. The awards that strike me the most talk about the way my continent sees me. And that would be, for instance, the new African Businesswoman of the Year Award. What awesome Treasures ways? Foundation started 20 years ago, and it's about raising transformational leaders. Right now, Awesome Treasures which is an NGO recognized by the United Nations, has legal presence in the United States, in the UK, in Nigeria. We hold summits in Ghana. We're going to South Africa this year. This is Voice of Change, your favorite radio program on leadership, going strong for the last eight years. Thank there is no crisis as deep in the 21st century as a crisis of leadership. And Voice of Change is about leadership, it's about raising the leader in you. It's not enough for you to succeed. Only a life lived for others is a life really worth living. I actually met a church that could contribute to the community. The school next door uses the hall. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not a nuisance. It works well with its community and the sheer scale sits 2,250 people. Everybody can see sight lines all solved and an office complex that is Guiding Light Assembly. There is a residential building in Ikoi in Lagos. And what do I love about this? These are the best clients I've ever worked with, ever. Because they believed in me. They allowed me to guide them and they let us execute. And the building is loved by everyone. That's for now my newest baby. This is one of my favorite projects in Lagos, Nigeria. This mosaic I designed to celebrate the family and the family unit, which is the bedrock of society. The material is glass mosaic, and I've created a waterfall. So during the day, this mosaic changes from the rising sun to the setting sun, when each one, there's an interplay of colors and metals and materials and textures and light. If you can see the light bouncing of the metallics now, it takes on a different form at different times of the day. This it has a nautical feel because it talks about the sheep of destiny. This staircase, I designed this as a living being. It's got like the backbone 
of an actual creature, like a vertebra, and that's what it is about. It rises up again into the light and ends up in an oculus, which is the skylight. You can see the way we've designed the lights again. Light is very important to me. It's a glass staircase and is one of the central pieces of the house. It's helical. You can see the curves. I like the white. The white talks about purity, it's clean. You don't need to choose between beauty and performance. It performs and it's beautiful at the same time. Like an African woman,